Well, hi everybody. This is your stay-at-home grandma, and I've got the, the easiest ice cream recipe that you can make. Okay, you need a spoon, you need a something to beat it with. Okay, you need some vanilla, you need some sweetened condensed milk already open. You need some kind of seasoning, I mean, some kind of syrup. Now, I have Tarani caramel syrup. I'm going to do one in caramel, one in vanilla, and then you need Cool Whip or any kind of whipped cream. So, you're going to take the Cool Whip, you're going to dunk it in the bowl. Is everybody doing what I'm doing fine? Just decided because I'm not going shopping until Wednesday. I'm thinking, oh yeah, I remember this recipe from a long time ago. So I'm going to put that over there for now. Okay. Now, we're going to empty this into... For that. Some condensed milks are thicker than others. And actually, I will show you how to make your own condensed milk in a later video. So I'm going to empty this in there. don't really need any sugar for it because the sweetened condensed milk and the Cool Whip will give you all of the sugar that you need. Somebody's knocking on the door. Oh, one more. Okay, so that's that. Now I'm going to take and we're going to fold this in. I'm going to do this with my left hand because I'm going to take this bowl like this. And just stir it very gently until it all gets mixed in. And it's very easy to do. And like I said, you won't need any sugar because of the Cool Whip or the other whipped topping. And you can use whip. You can use your own whipped cream if you want to. I've done it with my own whipped cream. I actually saw Jeffrey Stakarian do it on the um, the kitchen, too. And it's an old, old recipe, so it's not anything new. I'm going to fold it. And you're going to fold it. And just when you think you've got it done, then you add your vanilla. But a cap full of vanilla, which is about a teaspoon. I'm going to fold it some more so that the vanilla goes in very nicely. I'm 
I got the bowl holding it in my lap because you know that I have to hold steady because I've had the stroke. So I force myself to do things. And sometimes it doesn't bother me. And some days, you know, it just does. But I keep doing and keep going and doing what I have to do. And one of the actors I know just died of a stroke. I forgot what his name was. Um, my grandchildren told me who he was, too. I know him from Beverly Beverly Hills 90210, but I never actually watched it, but my kids did. I think I watched like one of it, and I was like, okay, I'm done. So there you have it, and this is how it all looks. So it looks like it's whipped ice cream, very creamy. Then you're going to get a bowl, and you're going to put this in. Now you could actually eat this, and you could have it as a pudding, or you could actually put it in. Mm. I gotta get. I want to get some bowls that have the, um, you know, like that they're they're indented so that they can pour out a little easier. I might only need one of these. I thought I might have needed two, but maybe not. So I'm not going to. Oh yeah, I think I will. I think I'll just put that in here. Put that down. Make sure it has all the bubbles are out. And I'm going to put the cap on this one. I'm going to put this in the freezer. And then I'm going to take what's left and put it in this one so that I can put some of the caramel in it. So I'm going to put the caramel in now. Like I said, you can do this with Cool Whip. You can do this with your own whip topping that you make. put some in here just enough to show you because I thought that it would make more than that but I haven't said I haven't made this in a very very long time so I'm going to get another spatula excuse me a minute and what's really good about this you know you might in my house I always have cool whip because I don't always make quick cream whipped cream. But you know, you go into the store and you're trying to figure out what to have for dessert. You whip up one of these for your friends and I'll be like, She made ice cream. Wow. And you know that you didn't well, you did, you know what I mean, but you know, it's you don't have to tell them all your secrets. I have a, a best girlfriend. We've been friends for well over 60 years now. And um, she always says she doesn't tell all her secrets. So anyway, if you like this, like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment in the comment section, and I will see you later. I will show you what it tastes like, or I will tell you what it tastes like, and I'll give it back. I'll come back and do a taste test on it. So I like you. I love you. Take care. God bless. Good night.